Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imona Project. We here at the Imona Project are continuing our series of videos with inspiration, uh, education, information, guidance, advice, and um, attracted as I am to unusual uh, phrasings and uh, uh, the use of words in the Torah. There's, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about how the Torah um, uses geography and the Torah's map, for lack of a better word. In uh, Genesis chapter 12, uh, verse 8, it talks about uh, Abraham. Uh, he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east. Now, uh, Harav Aaron Cutler would uh, often cite uh, Harav Yehuda Lieb Fine, that's the Rav of Zlonim who commented on the way the Torah uh, depicts uh, Abraham, uh, his uh, visits and his travels and his wandering around. Um, the Torah records that, April, uh, that uh, Abraham pitched his tent with one city on one side and another city on another side. It doesn't say uh, he, he pitched his tent near this city or uh, near that city. Um, You'd expect uh, that the tent would be secondary to the cities, the population. Um, but no, the Torah writes that the cities were situated to the east and the west of the tent. A tent, it was Abraham and his wife, Sarah. This teaches us, Rav Fein um, would comment, that the, the place where the Torah is disseminated that constitutes the central point. Um, that's the central part of the community. Everything else around it is secondary. Abraham's tent was the center of holiness, the center of godliness, the center of Torah. The cities were merely used as markers to indicate where Abraham's tent was. It was the Chofetz Chaim that observed that when you look at a map today, an atlas, a map, of a country, the, um, the cartographers will use certain symbols, uh, microscopic dots, uh, stars, uh, squares, uh, to denote cities. And these are usually based on population, or whether the city is a capital of a certain region, of a county, of a country, of a province. Um, that's how things work out in the secular world. The Torah map is on a different scale. Uh, Torah learning, mitzvah observance, those are the important things. A town or a place might be minuscule in terms of population or importance in the grand scheme of things, but according to godliness and holiness, that is the central part. On a secular map, Abraham's tent wouldn't even be a blip. Um, the Torah's guidelines are quite different. And let our guidelines be the same. Let's not be so impressed by, um, by population, by size, by grandeur. Let us focus on holiness and godliness. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Danielle, and thank you too much.